Hello everybody, my name is Katie and Keown. Welcome to back to the channel with a second episode of Derail Valley. Uh, I, I suck at editing. I'm so bad at editing. I truly, truly am. I got to the point where I just gave up. I was like, I want the video post. It's because I don't want to waste the video, but I couldn't figure anything out. So I probably, there's a good chance I may do my live streams like this from now on for a while. We'll see. But, uh, yeah, I wanted to play some more Derail Valley. I might do another episode. I might do another episode of Conan soon. We'll see. Let's go ahead and clear our fees. Yay! So today, uh, I went ahead and got ourselves set up a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead over here and sleep. I don't want to be driving during the night, so we'll put about a good four hours down. I don't. I don't think that'll. I think that'll still be like. Two that might only be like three in the morning, so yeah, it's still night outside. All right, whatever. So as you can see, I did a little bit of prep. I went and got us another DE2 from the train yard. So now we've got L009 and L027 with L009 being our original our original DE2. So now we should theoretically be able to do about 300 tons with no problem. We can always start up the other one. Right now we don't have the multi-unit, which is the license that allows us... Yeah, we need 30,000 for that. It's the license that allows us to actually physically hook up the two. So you can drive one by using... You can drive both of them by using just one locomotive. So that's fine. We're not needing to do that. Uh, right now. Too long. Too long. I'm not doing any shunting ones this time. I did a shunting one already, so we can get rid of all the shunting. So that's the one... That's one that's available. We can't do any logistics. So this is it, then. This is our... Our three jobs, goods factory, machine factory, and harbor town. 11, two 11,000s and then an 8,000. That's goods factory. That's machine factory. That's harbor town. So harbor town one would be easy to do. That's our, that would be easy to do. These two... We don't have concurrent orders, so we can't do that, but that's the one we prepped. Let's do that. Let's do the one we prepped. We should know where that's at. B60. Yep. Let's just do what, let's do the one that we got prepared. Let's start up our low, our choo-choo. Come on. Come on. There it goes. Choo choo has been started. Both locos have their their brakes off. We're gonna go ahead and wait on starting this one. Go get ourselves 11 grand. It'll probably be more because, again, we got the time bonus. 11 grand is just the base, the base value of the job. All right, so it should be this one. And then we leave that one. Yep. That'll do it. All right, let's back it up at about that fast. 
Don't want to go too fast. It seriously damage the cars if you bumped into them too hard. Although, to, I'll admit, we can probably go a little faster than that. gonna go into this one right here we got to make sure to go unhook oh wait a minute if I can time it right we'll do a last minute air dump and even make it less of an impact oh, the headlights are in my eyes I'm gonna miss it I'm gonna miss it oh yeah okay vehicles at 100% the load is at 100%. We didn't damage anything. How about that? That was a, that was a good, decent kerchunk, and I'm amazed we didn't damage anything, but... Looks like we didn't. So let's go ahead then and hook up. Awesome. And this should have been the one we applied. Now let's run back and make sure we're unhooked from the rest of the rails, because I think we're still... Yep. Yeah, called it. We're still set up from the last time we, uh... The last time we played. Guess I should make sure the rails have got one on. Just so they don't go scooting elsewhere, although I think the game would just despawn it. I'm not sure. We all hooked up now? Yeah, okay, it looks good. Let's go ahead and start engine number two. Put it in reverse. Brakes off. Make it just go one. Engine number one will go forward with just one notch. Run the train, make sure we're not driving with any brakes still applied. We'll hear the squeeching noises. Nope, good to go. We're on our way. Woohoo! We're off to girl we're off to see girlfriend. What is it? Goods? I think it's Goods Factory. Yeah, Goods Factory and Town. GF. I think that's funny. Alright. We'll go to this one here. Turn the rear light to that. We honestly don't need... We don't need to cab light on on this one. Uh, it's so dark. At some point, we definitely need to go to the store and buy a lantern. <coughs> Excuse me. Give this one a little bit more of the beans. All right, so we're going to be going up here to GF, which is which Goods, yeah. We're going to DI6. Which is on the far side of it. So we'll go up in through B, catch the siding, come around. Go up and around, and then back it into the spot, and the spot that we're looking for... DI-6. Northeast, okay. Back it off, let the other locomotive stay at one. It should maintain speed. Oop, wrong button. That's the one I wanted. Look, it's so dark we can't see anything, but there's the steel mill in the distance. That way 
the fuck over there, I think, is the farm and the oil well. I don't know what that is up there. And I'm not sure. I think that's goods factor. I think that might be where we're going. It's cool stuff. I love the environment of this world. I love the design of the world. It's good stuff. I guess there's mods for other maps, which so needed, so good. Ah, sorry. I'm dropping my mouse. Everything's going haywire because I dropped my mouse. Okay. So the good news is, oops, excuse me. The good news is there's a store. Oh, my DP, my mouse DPI got turned way the hell up. Ah, uh, there we go. The store should have a lantern up at the goods factory. Uh, it's not that far. We should actually be able to make this load pretty easily. Going to DI six. How much time do we have to make delivery? 46 minutes? Oh, we're good. Plenty of time. Let's go ahead and hop back here and turn this one off. For now. Get spooky in here. Ooh, dark and spooky. Fans on. What are we at? We're almost 55, about 55 kilometers an hour. That's not bad. That's a pretty decent speed, to be honest. We're going to want to try and maintain that as long as possible. There's a bit of an up... Not an upgrade. What is it? An, where it goes up. Uh, yeah, is it upgrade? Upscale? There's a grade. There's an increase. There's like a... F I think it's a 1.4% grade going into... Going into Goods Factory. Hopefully, with how much money we've got and this particular load, we may be able to buy multi-unit after this. And if we buy multi-unit, then we don't have to jump from train to train to run the controls. We can just do it off of one, which would be nice. This is our switching thing. So at a distance, if you want to make a switching co uh, command, which I think we're going to want to, you can call forward. You don't, you don't actually have to run to the switches. I just like to because it helps me see what I'm doing sometimes. So we do have a switch coming up here. It's facing the wrong way. There we go. That should take us then up the correct direction. Uh, we're going in this curve a little spicy. Ooh, maybe not. I don't I don't hear any derailing sounds, so I don't hear the screeching of a derailing train, so not not too spicy. Yeah, 1.1 grade. Look at that. All right. We're going to start losing speed pretty quickly, so we're going to hit this one at a 2. We're gonna hit this one at a one. No, we're gonna go ahead and hit this one at a two. Three. Is this one even on? Oh no, it's on. Yeah, we're still, see, we're still losing speed. So we're gonna turn this bad boy up to a four. Go ahead and hit that sand and hit it up to a five, six. Seven. We're gonna. Oh man. Yeah. We need to turn these up.
We should have turned them up sooner and I think higher. We'll probably turn this one off. Sand-wise, the locomotive is still going. Turn the sand off, save that. Notch that one down, go back to the forward locomotive. All right, we can just chill here. I don't mind 35 kilometers an hour. That's a good speed. Heavy load, my mans. Heavy load. Holy crap. My mans and womans. Heavy load. Got them wipers rolling. We sounded our horn. I think the 1.1 is the only thing we got... Oh, yeah, that's the compass. I don't, I don't really use the compass, so we'll just move back there. The one, the 1.1 grade, I think that's as steep as it goes going into this. Once we see the tunnel, I think it is. Once we hit the tunnel, okay, we can come back here now and kill this one. Put it in neutral and let the forward locomotive take us in. We're going to lose some speed, but we got enough momentum, it'll take us in. I guess we're back out of the tunnel, so we turn the wipers back up. Turn it up to one. Now we want to go through... I do remember, I think it's this one. And that'll take us through here. Perfect. I'm gonna do third person. Ah! F3 is free cam. F2 is third person. I gotta remember that. I'll show you guys kind of how the dash thing here works on this one. I'll kind of do I'll I'll do a little cheat cheat here and The dash is nice when you want to do kicking and I'll show you what kicking is. At least I think that's the correct I think that's the correct term. Heist might be, you know, if Heist ever watches my video, he might be screaming at me, "No, you idiot, it's not called kicking." But I think it's called kicking. I think I vaguely remember him saying something along the lines of kicking, but I could be wrong. Alright, so we should... Give it like... A little bit of braking here to kind of slow it down. You can use the scroll wheel on all your controls here on the dash. Alright, so kicking, the way kicking works, let's get down here, make sure we've got it going to the correct, is you stop your train, and you run to make sure you've got it facing everything going the correct way. I think we're going to need to go one more forward. Yeah. Wheels are slipping. Okay, so now we switch this over. We're looking for DI6. Hey, there's even two more DE2s here, which we're not going to grab. We don't need four. So here's, is it DI6 or D? It's D6I, I'm saying backwards. This is D6I, so we need this one to go over. 
this one to stay as is, this one to go over, and the last one can stay as it is. Double check this one, going the correct way, and correct the mundo. So now we're gonna kick. We're gonna kick it. And the way you kick, the easiest in this game. Turn your sander on. Breaks all off. Reverser and give it some throttle. Quickly switch over to this one. Give it some of that throttle. Turn this one off. Go back to the main one. Turn it off. And then... Turn the sander off. Turn the sander off. Break. Crack. Switch over. Camera. Then, with fourth person, you can follow... The cars. So the locos stay up there. Where we can then easily go to whatever lane we need, instead of going in and then coming back out. And then we just casually follow the, uh... We casually follow the free-flying tra train here. Kicked down the line. Into the siding of D6I that it's needed! Hey! It does actually save you time. It's easier to do in fourth... Four, uh... Third person, sorry. Significantly easier to do in third person rather than doing it in first person because you can just hit that button to unhook everything rather than hop out of the car or out of the locomotive and, uh, and physically grab everything. One thing you will learn, though, is it's kind of a pain to stop it sometimes, and if you mess it up, and you don't get all the way into the into the siding then you have to then drag the locomotive down there to fix it so you better get it right the first time if you're gonna kick ta-da we needed less than half the time to get the job done how much did we get oh 16k let's pay off our fees which shouldn't be too much Perfect. How about that? That was a pretty simple, painless th operation. So now we got 30k. We can get the multi-unit. Or we can upgrade to the DM3. I know what I said, but I love the DM3. Screw it, we're gonna do it. I like the DM3. Alright, we got ourselves another locomotive. Now... Problem is, is it didn't spawn a DM3 over here, though. These are two DE2s. So, we're going to do something kind of a bit. We're going to do something a little sneaky here and see if this works. It may not work. How much money do we have? $2,000? I'll try it once. So, fast travel back to Sawmill. And then back to GF. We only got enough money to try it once, and I'm, I'll try it. I think it's worth it. The DM3 is a really cool locomotive. Now, unless I totally just wasted money, I think that... Oh, it does! Ugh, it did exactly what I thought it was going to do, but it didn't give us the DM3. I do really like this, uh, this steam train, though. All right, here's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and clear these guys. Eventually, my dear steam train, my S060 will be will be back here for you shortly. 
So now... Let's do what I like to call run to the next place where you think there may be a train. Using the rapid dash button to go all over the map because we wasted our money on fast travel. Woo! And I hope I'm going the right direction. Oh, I'm going the correct direction vaguely. Readjust our coordinates. Coordinates a little bit. Or our general direction which we're facing. Check again. Kind of. Do, 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 do. A dummy who let, who got rid of his train running along the tracks. Don't mind me. Almost. We're almost there. I see smoke! Watch, we're gonna get... I know we're gonna get there and the DM3 is not gonna be there. It's gonna be some other train. Yeah, DH4! That never spawns here! Ugh. Well, you know what? Hot, hot dash action. This is this is just crazy dash in action here. You're gonna follow me until we find ourselves a DM3. Which ah, that wasn't too hard. See, that wasn't too hard. Here we go. All right, so we're at the farm, I think. Cool. We'll just take a job from here. So what do we got? Shunting. We're not doing shunting jobs. Where's the trash can? Over here. Ha ha. Logistics hall. We don't have logistics. Logistics. Freight. Freight and logistics. And I think that freight one is going to be too long. Yep. So that means we got one job. Ha ha! Farm. Food factory town, which is... Food Factory Town FF. Oh, there it is. It's not too bad. It could be worse. I'll take it. But what we're going to do is we're going to save ourselves some of our 58 minutes. We're going to go hook up to FMFH81 first. And then we'll come actually officially accept the job. One thing I do have to do though. So DM3... The way it works is it's a diesel mechanical. So it's it almost ironically enough is basically like a semi truck, which is what I drive. But the thing is with the DM3, it's got a very I personally think stupid shifting system. Uh shift pattern I mean. But it's not up to me as to. It's not up to me as to what the shifting pattern of the of this. Big old choo choo is. It's powerful choo choo. This thing's a powerful locomotive. Heist found it out, pretty recently. But I've known for a while since I played the game. That uh, the D the DM three is just kind of a bit of a a chonky beast. Oh nope, go back. There we go. All right, so now on my alt on my alternate screen, man, I tell you what, I don't know how I used to play <laughs> play shit without two screens. <laughs> on my alternate screen, I now have. The shifting pattern, and I'll show you how this works. I haven't actually driven. Yar, mateys! The freaking pirate wheel thing, that's awesome. Alright. see if I can remember how to do this. Cab light, dash light. Those are the wipers. Lights, lights. Electronics, starter, starter. Perfect. Sand, oil temp, tack! We got a taco! We got a taco! I used to call those tacos when I was younger because I was an idiot. It's a taco meter. Taco meter. Taco meter. Something like that. Our engine brake. Our reverser and forward thingy. Reverse neutral. The shifting in this would be so much better if they just let you shift into neutral. 
while it was rolling, but once you get rolling, it doesn't let you shift into neutral. Which is what makes it so bad. Our wipers. That's the fuel cutoff, that's the sander. And that's our brake. So what we're in right now is first gear. Put it in forward, neutral, or I mean forward and then give it some gas and away we go. And see, it won't let you when you got throttle. Kill the throttle. Still won't, still won't, still won't. There it goes. And we stalled it. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, I love this locomotive. I really do. But it is a pain in the ass to drive. We're going to probably blow it up at least once. So that's going to be good. So we're looking for order number 81, which should be... There it is, 81. So we need to pull out to here. Cool. And I'll show you guys here in third person. Ah, what is it doing? This thing doesn't know what it... Oh, good lord. Okay, is it going to work now? Yes, there we go. Give me my dash. Okay, we are now in first gear. And then that is second gear. And we should be able to just boom to fourth. Oh, that's right. You got to kill the throttle. I keep forgetting. So that's fourth gear. I love the draw bar on this thing. It's so cool. I shifted wrong, I think. So we need... What are we in? We're in second gear now. Now we're back to first. We're gonna blow this thing up. I'm so bad at driving. I, it's This thing's a conundrum to me, because I absolutely love this train. But I'm the worst at driving it. So it may not have been a good idea for us to get this. Let's just let it cruise here in... Let's see, let's go ahead and... We'll just let it cruise in first gear. It doesn't need to... We don't need to really give it too many too many of the beans before we get going cuz this is where we're actually going to make contact One thing I did learn with the DM3 is you definitely don't want to overspeed it because if you hit the thing and it stops it, it'll just detonate the engine. You'll blow your transmission, the engine, the whole nine yards. It'll be so sad. So, so sad. Gotta let it coast its way in. Put it in neutral. Boom. Not even that hard. How about that? Ah. I 
make sure we got our break off here. Perfect. Check the rest of them real quick. Good. Where's this one? Ah. Good. Good. Alright, let's go actually officially accept the job now. So that way we've saved as much time as possible. Now we can just pull out and go. Going to D2I. Suppose it wouldn't hurt to also double check to make sure this is in fact our load. CBX 462. CBX 462. Oh, I'm one car in. Oh, thank God. I was about to freak out of like, why is that not the first car or whatever? But no, we're good. All right, let's hop in. Brake is off. So here, real quick, here's the bullshit shifting pattern. You ready? Okay, so this is first. That's second. That is third. That is fourth. That is fifth. That is sixth. That is seventh. That is eighth. It's an eight speed. Those are the gears. Both reverse, both forward. I suppose you could... It, it's it's so bad. Like, I, I don't know why they don't just do first gear, second, third, or first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, or eighth, or I don't know. There, I feel like there's a better way. The, it, honestly, the part that gets me is it wouldn't be so bad if they let you put it in the neutral while it's rolling. But once you get up to a certain speed, it doesn't matter. It won't let you get out of gear, which is stupid. I feel like a real, like, I don't know, unless I'm just totally ignorant here. I mean, shit, a semi truck. You could throw it neutral literally any time, and you could have 21 gears in a semi truck and throw it in a neutral at any flipping time. I've heard of diesel mechanical locomotives that will have a neutral gear that you could just throw it into. Whatever. You see, we can put it neutral, even with the th throttle, but once we get up to... See, now it's locked. It won't let me do it. So now I have to... I'm going to just go straight to third. This locomotive will take it. It's a strong one. Show you guys this cool thing going. Check it out! I love its style. I just wish the shifting was a little bit easier. I mean... Unless it's just not what I'm easy, what it's easy for me to do. Like, unless I'm just a real big dumb idiot, which probably that's the case. I feel like the diesel mechanical shouldn't be harder than the steam engines. And I'll tell you what, I've blown up a diesel mechanical dozens of times. I've maybe blown up a steam engine twice. And I'm talking about both of the steam engines. The smaller one and the harder to drive bigger one. I'm better at steam than I am the freaking diesel mechanical. Alright. Throttle down. Fourth gear. Bring the throttle back up. So now we're in fourth gear. Whoop, what happened? Oh, I pressed... I pressed dash. Whoops. See, I just like watching these things in motion. Just coming out and looking at it in motion. One thing I will say about this train, though. As much as the shifting pattern drives me nuts. It, uh... It is easier to maintain a certain speed with this thing. Whereas with the traction motors, it's kind of a pain. This one, 
You kind of just set it and it won't go any faster than what it's doing. Away we go. Take a quick screenshot. I'm so bad. I do my I I make my thumbnails in the game while I'm in in the game. Let everybody watch my process. All right, we do need to pay attention though cuz I think we've got Oh, but it's facing the right way already. Yeah, we're good. That's going the direction we want it to go. See, it's not even a matter of, like, if I kill the throttle and then try and shift back. Still won't do it. Bit of a graphical bug there. I don't think that's supposed to be... I think that's supposed to be, like, a little bridge, but it's just not... Sounds like we're losing speed. Yeah, we are. We're going full throttle. I'm gonna just leave it. It'll stabilize. What are we in? Sixth? Yeah, we'll leave it in sixth here. One thing you can also do with the dash is you can really check. You can quickly check. Nobody has any brakes on. Because you can do the brakes. Turn the brakes on and off. But nope, no brakes. We're good. Alright, so here's where we're going to try and shift up into 8th now. Get some speed going. God, I do like the look of this train, though. It's rusty as all hell, and it's so cool. It's like it's a well worked train. So we're basically doing the same route we did before, just um, same route. Yeah, same route we're doing what we did before, except for instead of turning up here for GF, we're gonna keep going straight and up here until we hit FF. Back off on the throttle a little bit here. We're going pretty spicy. We don't need to go that fast. Uh, no, not the reverse or engine brake. There's a bit of a downhill getting out of uh, out of the out of the steel mill, so things get pretty spicy pretty quickly. Just look at this thing; it's so cool. So cool, so cool. I tell you what, it's so cool.
Oh, I forgot to mention too. So this is career mode. We're gonna just let the train do its thing. I'm gonna cut ahead and do the the uh, switch. Uh, so this is career mode. It's not too difficult. I'm not doing a hardcore career. This the last episode was the same career mode. Um, it's it's not too hardcore. It's kind of toned down. I wanted to I wanted this to be kind of a casual playing. So nothing too, too spicy on the difficulty levels. Um, the DE6, the big, the big diesel, the big diesel uh, traction motor, the D big diesel electric, the DH4, the diesel hydraulic. Uh, those are the two I haven't driven. I've driven everything else at some point. So there's a couple things that are still new to me going into this. Love the sound, the design. This is such a cool locomotive. So unless I'm just an idiot, I wonder if, I wonder if that is neutral. Technically. I don't know. Probably not. I'm probably just a big dumb idiot. Turn the lights off from the front. We don't need those. I don't even really need the dash light right now. Or I mean the cab light. Let's go ahead and drop it down to 7th. Because we don't need to hit this corner at like mock, mock Jesus. We can slow down here. It's a it's a wide corner, but it does sharpen up towards the end. Ah, oh, just look at this big beautiful beast. It needs a new paint job, but it's a big beautiful beast nonetheless. I also have no idea about tonnage limits. The only one I know for sure is like the DE2 struggles when you get up to uh, 300 tons. Whereas the small steam engine, the little one, that little one we saw at GF, the uh, 060, can handle something close to, I think it's almost 500 tons that one can handle. And then the big steam engine, I've regularly run 1,300 tons. And I think I even managed, I managed a 14, 1,400 tons, 1,400 tons out of the iron mine, which is this one up here, the iron mine east or whatever. I think it's, I, it's whatever out of, I am. Yeah. Cause it's iron mine east. That's iron mine west. So. Iron Mine East, I managed 1,400 tons with the big, with the 2628, I think it's a 282 locomotive, the big, the big chunker. And uh, while it struggled to actually get out of the mine, because I had to go, I had, because there's a little bit of a hump getting out of the mine before it's all downhill. And I will admit, I had to do, I had to like go as far back into the mine as I could, almost to having the train going backwards out of the mine, and then full throttle around the mine, almost derailing, and using that momentum to just inch myself up over the hump before it then was basically all downhill after that. And then I just coasted all the way down into the steel, <laughs> into the steel mill. Yeah, that was a rough, that was a rough job. If I remember correctly, I think it, it was like four jobs 
18 cars, I think. All I know, all I remember for sure was it was like 1,400 tons. The steam locomotive was screaming at me the whole way, and I made $54,000. No, I made like $70,000 off of that. Something like that. It was a very, very lucrative job. Losing speed. Throttle it up. I'm feeling pretty comfy here in seventh gear. I don't think we're gonna change this. Just kind of let it let it drag itself up over the hill the hill here. Most of this is gonna be uphill anyway. We may have to switch gears. But we're still good for now. Oil temps going up. Sound, sand is cool. Might even be able to get away with... Uh, I think I screwed, us, screwed myself over here. Let's go back to 7th and full throttle it. Doesn't like 8th gear. Yeah, we lost some speed because I tried that. Oh, well. Turn our cab light back on. Air vent thing. This thing is just so rusty. Look at this. I mean, would it kill kill the owner of this thing, which is probably me, honestly, to just put some paint up in here? So one detail I do like about this, they add it, they add docu boxes, document doc, document boxes there. So if you don't if you don't want to if you don't want to carry things in your hot box all the time, you can throw it there, or you can just or you can just uh, boop, right onto your little counter here. Yeah, sounds like the engine's bogging down a little bit, but we're maintaining speed, so I'm just gonna kinda punch it, which is what we're doing. Let it go. Attack is holding steady. Speed is going up slightly, so the attack will go up. Oil's looking good. Brake pipe's looking good. Main reservoir's looking good. There's nothing I missed, is there? Starter, fuel, wipers. One thing I constantly do to myself when I'm running the steam locomotive, and sometimes I have to bring up that menu that you saw there, the, that I have to check it. I keep forgetting to turn on the dynamo and the lubricator because they're not in the cab. They're out elsewhere on the, on the choo-choo. And I always forget to go check the choo-choo. And so then I die because I didn't turn the lubricator on and my train's screaming bloody fucking murder because it's got no oil in the running gear. Oop, good thing I switched that in time. Hard right, nope, that's a left, hard left. Well, okay then. Uh, suffered a complete system crash there. I have no idea what happened. Just the whole computer, everything just totally died. So, I will, this will give me a good opportunity to try and learn how to edit, I guess. I'm going to try and splice these two videos together. Um. So let's get ourselves back and going. We kind of, I haven't checked the other video yet, so I don't know 100% where it cut off, but we're currently right before the next turn off going towards uh, farm town. So we're gonna get ourselves going here. I got to... Okie dokie. 
now I know what I'm doing. So now we can shift it up into third. We'll let that get up to speed. Now come over here and shift this. Yeah, I have no idea what happened. It's just the whole... The whole game just totally... The, the game, the computer... Like, the whole computer crashed, too. It wasn't just the game. Everything froze up, the computer crashed, and, uh... <clears throat> it seems like it saved everything. Or at least most of it. Where it cut off. So, that'll be interesting to see what the ending of that video is like and do an edit. So now we're in fourth gear. Why is our tachometer so high already? I guess we can already go in the, s the next thing. We're gonna go to sixth. Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. Brakes off. Everything's off. Yeah, okay. Alright, well, we're back now. Going again. Here we go. And we're going to leave it. Ironically, that's what we were going to do. Uh, I was going to shift it to sixth. Anyway. fully learned how the engine brake works. I know how it, like, the theoretical thing behind it. I know how it would work in the real world, but how it kind of functions in the game is beyond my understanding at this time. So we're going to... Ah, where's our job? Oh, that's right, I threw it down here. Doi. D2I. Which is not here. D, one S. Did I read that wrong? Did I like? No, it's D two I. Oh, I'm looking at goods factory. Duh. So to hit the do the D section, we need to we need to make a right when we get into the factory. We need to make a right. And then just straight through. Okay. That should be easy. Make a right, straight through. Cool beans. Do 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 Yeah, I wanted to finish this job before I totally counted the video out, but now I gotta figure out how I'm gonna edit it. I don't even know where it ended the last video, to be honest. I don't know how far it got. Because we crashed right after passing the bridge. Not the train, but we crashed. The, the computer crashed. What are we in? We're in sixth. Oh, shit. What the hell did we do? Well, I fucked that up. Just blew our train up. That's what happens. All right. Uh. No, it's totally dead. We just blew the whole fucking thing up. Well, I guess our only hope is if we can coast it in. Nope, we're not going to because I messed it up. Oh, no. Got it. Got the right. Too spicy, too spicy. Not spicy enough, not spicy enough. No! Oh, 
come on! D2I, it's right there! Oh, it's still rolling. It's a slow roll, but it might work. Are we losing speed? God, I can't believe it. Just See, that's how easy it is. And why I may have messed us up, or messed myself up, by buying this, this license for this train, particularly. Because... That's it. We just blew it. We blew it sky high. I don't even know what we broke. 92%. Well, something on it's broke. This is kind of sad after all of that. Are we going to coast in powerless at three miles per hour? I don't even know if it's main. It's not maintaining the speed. Now it's going slower. Uh, yep. All right. Well, here's what we get to do now. Because we did that, we now get to just park it. And go... Where is it at? Well, there's a DE6. Ah, there's a little guy. The first question, though, I want to check. Can we come over here? Where... This is part of the hard part sometimes, is finding the office. It's annoying as heck, because the offices aren't clearly marked. You'd think it'd be the building spewing out smoke, but no. So that's the shop. Station map. Oh, I'm like too far over. Ah, there we go. So theoretically, we might be able to come over here. Okay. That might then allow us... Oop, I don't know where I am. Too far. Where is the train? Where is train? There it is. So now if we... Yep, I did it right. Okay, so now we can just... Ah, well that was stupid. I hate it when that happens. This is like, I don't even know what I did wrong. I just went from six to five. Did I forget to put the throttle forward? And that caused it to blow up? I'll tell you what, one thing we definitely need to do though is, uh, before we get any other licenses, we need to get the, st my, the steam train, the, the little one. Because with the little one, at least we can have the a uh, good amount of power on a locomotive that I don't frequently blow up. Because I do love this train. Like, don't get me wrong. If I could have this as a model train, I'd have it. If I could have... I can't have any trains in real life, but I would love to drive a train like that. It is such a cool little diesel. But it's so stupidly easy to blow up. And that angers me. Okay, so ooh shit stalled it. Okay, that's, that's cool. At least we didn't blow it up It's like two two kilometers an hour Is about how fast you can be going before it'll allow you to To shift it into neutral Which just seems like a shit train design if you ask me Cool Even with the blow up we got it in more than enough time. Ugh, so how much do we got? 11,000. Cool. So what do we got available to us? Shunting? Nope. Can't do it because it's too long anyway. Can't do any logistics. We can deliver the cat food. A shunting job may not actually be a bad idea now that I'm thinking about it. We'll throw that one over there, just in case. Too long, can't do it. Too long, can't do it. We can do that one. I 
Uh, nah. Logistics can't do it. We could go back to the steel mill. That's an unload. Might do that one along with this one. Because you can do multiple unloads at the same time. Well. I don't know. I might decide on it. I may not do anything. If I do something more, then I will make another episode of it, out of it. Uh, for now, i got to figure out, though, first... Why my phone is going off. And second, how to splice this video onto the next one. Thank you all for watching. I've been Katie and Keon, and uh, I hope you all enjoyed the video.